I'm looking forward to my match with Russell. I think it's gonna be a good one. Russell and I, we already had a match. We went out there. I just absolutely starched him on the second slab. Oh, there you go! Like, it was, it was disgusting. Were you knocking out your shoes? Huh? No! Were you knocking out their shoes? I definitely think I'm gonna knock him out with the first slap. The one thing I'll give Russell credit for is the fact that he knows I can knock him out and he still wants to try and come back and get his redemption. I'll give him mad credit for that. He, he did beat me the last time, but I gotta get him back. I put the effort in, you know, I do as much as I can. It helps a lot being strong. Super confident I'm gonna win that belt. This guy chapped their ass, killing themselves in the gym. And I'm just I'm just hanging out, playing the game, chilling my family, smoking, just going to concerts. belong to me. He doesn't belong being a champion, lazy. Yeah, you know, Russell, he, he seems to have a big mouth. I don't I, I don't understand why, because, I mean, y'all seen what I did to him last time. He looked like a girl. He looks soft. He thinks I'm um, out of shape, fat ass, you know what I mean? And, like, I am straight off the couch, but still knocked him straight the fuck out, and I still have the belt, so whatever. You just got knocked out by an out of shape fat ass. How does that make you feel? Gonna knock this guy's head right off his shoulders, to be honest. In my opinion, there's no way Russell is not nervous. How can you not be? Like, you're going against someone who just took your fucking head off last time you guys saw each other across from the podium. So, you know, like, that's gotta be in his head. So, last time out, you take your first ever hit. You know what the word around the campfire is. People are saying that you can give it, but you can't take it. AJ knocked me out, yeah, yeah. no ifs, ands, or buts. You know, the, the good thing that came out of this, uh, honestly, is the loss. My daughter was playing soccer the other day, and they ended, up, they ended up losing. And I was like, don't worry, I go millions of people around the world that see me. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, you, no, you, I'm like you're, really you're fine. Like, it'll be another day. So, this time, that's in the past. Yep. We're looking forward to the future. And you're going up against Alan Klingbeil. Yep. yep. What are we saying about him? I saw him in the hallway today. You know, he kind of looked nervous, but you know, I mean, who wouldn't be? He saw what happened to the other two guys. He saw what happened to AJ. So, I mean, yeah, I think I think it'll be fine. My defense is better than anybody here. I can, I can take a hit better than anybody here. So he's not gonna put me out. I think one word to describe my slap style would be destructive. You know, he might be taking a nap. Come here pretty soon. I've been ready since before I left my house. I don't have any plans other than to end this as soon as possible and take my belt back home. I'm gonna throw some pineapple on your ass after I- Oh yeah, 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 out. go ahead. And I'll feed that fucking pineapple to you. First round KO, you're going out, lights out. I'm gonna swing, hopefully I'll knock him out. Who wants it more and who's willing to dig deep? I'm just going to say round one knockout. How's it going, brother? Good to see you. Yes, sir. What's up, buddy? Right. Welcome see back. You. How are you? So, what's up, boys? You ready? Another day in the life. I've been ready. I'm excited. I'm excited for Wednesday. I'm excited for the second event. Uh, th this, this thing has brought out like a new fucking energy and, and, and life in me. I, I haven't felt this way since the early days of the UFC. I love it. So how's it been? How's it been since uh, season one? A lot more uh, recognition. Yeah? 
People recognize you guys everywhere you go now. Yeah, my daughter plays soccer with kids in town. Their parents are coming up during soccer tryouts and practice. Like, you really doing that? And they're like, how? <laughs> Does it hurt? I'm like, yeah, it hurts. Of course it hurts, but I'm having fun. You know what I'm saying? Financially, how's it, how's it helped? A lot. I like it. I paid off a lot of stuff that I had, uh, like, uh, like debt that I had. You know what I mean? And then I paid a lot of bills, like, just for a couple months uh, in advance. And I got a family car. And I bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> What's going on with your kids? Uh, same thing. I mean, and they've been watching me do it for a long time, and they uh, they enjoyed the money that came from it too because <laughs> they got some gifts, and so it was uh, it was nice. You always have these people out there that that, that want to tell other people what they should or shouldn't be doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? When you guys have an opportunity to do something that you're good at and change your family's life, they don't say anything about fucking the NFL. Mm-hmm. The NFL's a million times more dangerous than what you guys do. It's not even remotely close. You yeah. guys don't have to spar. You don't mm -hmm. have to take any of that damage. You go in and you slap three or less times. And obviously you saw the social media numbers that were pulling us. I mean, we destroy everything in sports. Our average post does like 693,000. We're number one in all of sports. Number two is the NBA at 70,000. That's how much bigger That's we are on social media than all these other sports fact that we have a distribution deal now and sponsors. I mean, it took the UFC six years before that started to happen. We did this in one reality show and one finale, so. That's so cool. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> this sport is not established yet, and I fucking love, I love that everybody hates it. It's, that's my <laughs> favorite thing, man. Thank you for your contribution, you know, in, in the first season, and uh, good luck on Wednesday, everybody.